Professor Dave and Chegg here, we now understand the concept of acids and bases, as well as what pH represents. We will want to be able to calculate the pH of acid solutions. Sometimes this will be very easy, and other times this will be very complicated. Let's start with some easier situations by looking at the pH of strong acid solutions. Once again, we know that a strong acid is one which will dissociate completely in aqueous solution. Every molecule of acid will transfer a proton onto a water molecule, forming a hydronium ion, or H3O+. Here is an acid-base reaction involving hydrochloric acid, which is a strong acid. Because it is a strong acid, every molecule of acid transfers a proton to a water molecule. So if we are given the concentration of a strong acid, it will be very easy to calculate the pH of the solution it is in, because for a monoprotic acid, the acid concentration will equal the hydronium concentration. When we list the concentration of a strong acid like hydrochloric acid, it does not mean that there are HCl molecules intact in solution. They will deprotonate instantly to produce hydronium, so this value is actually telling us about hydronium concentration. Every mole of acid produces a mole of hydronium, so this makes the math very easy. Let's try some examples of this. First, if we have one molar hydrochloric acid, what will be the pH? Again, this means the solution is one molar in hydronium. We take the negative log of one and we get zero. A one molar solution of HCl has a pH of zero. Now let's say we have a 0.1 molar solution of nitric acid. What will be the pH here? This is also a strong acid, so we can assume that this is the hydronium concentration. Again, we take the negative log and we get one. So the pH of a 0.1 molar nitric acid solution is one. What if we consider an HCl solution, where the concentration is 1 times 10 to the negative 10 molar? In this case, we actually do not have to do any math, because the acid is so dilute that it is insignificant. In this case, the auto-ionization of water is more relevant than this acid-base reaction, since the hydronium and hydroxide ion concentrations in pure water are both 10 to the negative 7 molar. This additional hydronium is therefore negligible, and we can just consider this as essentially pure water with a pH of 7. As we can see, calculating the pH of strong acid solutions is extremely straightforward. We just find the acid concentration, and provided it is not so small as to be negligible, we consider that to be the hydronium concentration, and take the negative log. For weak acids, this will be more complicated, so let's check that out next. Professor Dave for Chegg. See you next time.